you were out hustled. Um, they got you on the offensive glass a bit, a bit too much, particularly in the first quarter. But to their credit, the guys kept fighting, kept finding a way to fight back every time they were going to make a run. What, what were your thoughts on yeah, I, I don't, I don't agree that we were out hustled. Um, certainly in the first quarter on the offensive glass, they they dominated. I think they had six or seven offensive boards. Yeah. So you can equate that down to hustle or is it technique? I put it more down to technique. You know, finding a man, blocking out, uh, because the work you have to do when you play that team on the defensive end is extremely labour intensive. You got to guard them for 20 seconds every possession. You come, so you guard them for 20 possessions, and then they get a, a rebound. Then you got to guard them for another 10 or 12 because it's 14. Then you guard them for 22, and they get a, a little layup. You come down, turnover, and you've got to guard them again for another 24. So it, it's it's labour intensive, and I thought our guys stuck at the task, which is a difficult task. That is a very, very, very good team that, that, that we beat. I told the fellas after the game, uh, they're very good because they've got good talent but they are extremely well organised and coached. The way that they work and use their, 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 the talent they have available and put people in positions where it's tough to defend, you know, I've got great, great respect for what they do and the way they go about it because, you know, they don't have Loughton, they don't have Trice, they've got some significant handicaps, but, you know, albeit for a free throw, they probably, you know, they might win that game. And fortunately, I've got Kevin Lish on my side. And when in doubt, give it to Kevin. And uh, Kevin fortunately got it done for us in a, in a big, big play. And, and we had a lot of heroes tonight, though. What you know. around for you after that, that first well, It might sound real simplistic, but we made some shots. You know, we were getting some good looks and we were missing a lot. And then I thought Steve, we got seven down and Steve came in and hit a couple of big, big threes. Uh, you know, he's still finding his way, finding where he's going to get his stuff from. But they were big, big threes. And I think defensively, we, we cranked it up a little bit. We, we, we said at the halftime we want to extend it, push it up, try and up the tempo, try and get more shots, more exchanges of the ball. Uh, and, uh, but to their credit, you know, they take pretty good care of it. And we, we couldn't get our usual interceptions, little deflections, a few bounces here. We almost had it and weren't quite able to get it. There was times we just couldn't feel like you'd get over the hump. If you just get six or seven up, you feel like you're over the hump. And playing that way, that slow down game, becomes a whole lot tougher when you're six, seven, six or seven behind as opposed to six or seven in front. But it was always a struggle to get our noses in front and we finally did at the end, but it uh, wasn't by much. The what? You know, perhaps I said to the guys, we don't want it. It cost us. Yeah. We got two shots and the ball, it, it cost us. Now, in hindsight, because we scored off that underneath out of bounds play anyway, um, the crowd got involved. And in hindsight, you know, it, it didn't hurt us. And there's something to be said for flying the flag bringing the guys together, the bonding, looking after each other. I told them, don't do it again. You know, we want to take advantage of it. Don't do it, and we don't want to see it. But in hindsight, it wasn't something that hurt us it, when, when it could have, because it could have taken away a huge advantage that we could have had. So, um, yeah, it certainly got the crowd involved and got, hopefully it was, you know, we don't want to see it in our game, but bit of emotion, bit of a passion. I was in there, I was being quite, trying to, please don't hit me anyone, but you know, trying to break things up. Were you in there Kev at that stage? Uh, yeah, I did put my mouthpiece back in first. <laughs> and then back in. Yeah, talk us through the last five seconds. Yeah, we had a, a nice play drawn up um, and, uh, and you know, we executed it really well. Uh, they played good defense, but you know, fortunate enough to just hit a shot at the end, but uh, um, you know, it, it worked out for us in the end, that's for sure. Andrew, it's a pretty big win, a bit tough stretch coming up in Brisbane, Melbourne, Perth. Yeah, well, I, I, you don't, you, you usually try to say, ch take it one game at a time, but it's hard to avoid the schedule that we've got this week in particular. You know, rest day tomorrow, we'll have a little workout on Wednesday and then get ready for Brisbane who are tough. Uh, you know, they, they, they lost a, a tough one in New Zealand, they're going to come out all guns blazing, playing as hard. And they aren't as 
they don't use the ball quite as much, but they have a similar structure and system to the way their offensive system schemes are similar to what we had to deal with. We, we, we you know, they've beaten us already on our, on our home floor. We, we were fortunate enough to get a win a couple of weeks ago against them, so that's going to be tough. And then Melbourne United, backs to the wall type situation on the road, and then Perth and Perth, my goodness. It's, but that's the way it is. Don't believe everything other people say. There is incredible parity in this competition. And anyone that says that that's not the case, uh, I'm, I'm not sure that they're, they're seeing what I'm seeing anyway. Maybe I'm, my, my vision's a bit blurred because I'm so concerned about getting wins and I look at things maybe differently. But from where I sit, I can't, every game I look at home or away, I'm thinking, geez, we're gonna have to be good to win this game. I, I don't know, I can't see a gimme in there. Who's the bunny? I, I, there, there, there are none. Oh, that was huge. I mean, you know, you guys like talking about my shot at the end, but I mean, those those plays, you know, that that's two points that that they didn't get. So those plays are are just as big um, in the moment, and and you know that's why we have guys like that who you know when the situations need big plays, they're they're willing and able to do that. So that was huge, and and you could go down the line each each and every player. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it was just a, a great win against a very good team. Thanks, guys. Good on you guys.